right the 11th question and the marvelous rose became crimson like the rose of the eastern sky crimson was the girdle of petals and crimson as a ruby was the heart right okay so you know this uh, when uh, when the word rose is there to exactly know that uh, these lines have been taken from the short story nightingale and the rose right so it is taken from the nightingale and the rose by oscar wilde right so you can answer like that and then uh, the second question from for this context what event is highlighted in the extract what event is highlighted here anyone can someone answer yes the blooming of the the blooming of the blooming of the red rose right uh, blooming so the, the situation is the blooming of the red rose right and then how did she, how did this uh, event take place right it should be event event takes place how it takes place what what is your answer for that how how it takes place like you know how the red rose bloom that is what you have to tell anyone just try to answer don't keep silent Sanatma and Sandini, what are your ideas about this? No idea. you know this event takes place with the sacrifice of the nightingale's life right the rose blooms with the sacrifice of the nightingale's life 
nightingale uh, nightingale uh, yes yes it blooms with the blood of the nightingale yes that also can be taken yes the red rose blooms with the blood of the sacrifice of of nightingale's life. What is the significance of the color image? Significance of the color images. Yes, the, um, you know, uh, red color signifies blood right or the light color image is red color signifies blood or light if you have written anything else you can just ask Okay, so we can go to the next one. Uh, that is uh, the 12th question. A man dressed in the hunting costume of some remote period had just transfixed a stag with an arrow. So you can remember the incident, right? This is the, uh, the lumber room incident where uh, Nicholas is in the lumber room and uh, watching uh, or we can say observing the tapestry, the golden picture there on the wall of the lumber room, right? Okay, then from whose, uh, so it is uh, taken from the lumber room by Tati. 
and uh, whose eyes is the situation described it obviously from nicolas eyes what is the situation described here so i have already told the situation nicolas is in the lumber room and uh, uh, he is watching the he is observing the tapestry picture on the wall of the lumber room and uh, she he actually observes it very carefully right then how does the weaver respond to the picture how does the weaver respond to the picture uh, what aspect of his character is reflected here yes i want your answer for that question what how does the weaver respond to this picture now it says a man dressed in hunting costume of some remote period had just transfixed a stag with an arrow stag gonata uh, arrow i can shoot karana balagire in so what is the uh, weavers respond to the picture how do you answer for that question is it a positive respond or a negative one because you know if you have a negative respond you don't explain that much right you will just have a look and just forget it yes uh the weaver is having a positive and a mindful respond towards this right because uh, he is telling even uh these people this huntsman should be from a remote period as well right so you can just say uh the weaver is positively and mindfully respond to the picture and what characteristics of him what aspects of his character can be seen there some qualities yes he is carefully watching it and assuming the things present yes so he is very observant and imaginative no he as he is imaginative he tells that this person is from a remote period and very observed no? he is observant imaginative and thoughtful is a uh, observant imaginative thoughtful so when you are asked to describe the character the aspects of the character please uh, use some more adjectives just uh, do not write only one adjective to describe the character right okay 